And we had a very specific and, and enforced nonviolence code, and this was partially a result of the violence that we experienced leading up to Redwood Summer. Increasingly, as we had gotten larger and more effective, violence had been used to, to keep us down on the front lines, and often with the cooperation or at least benign neglect of the local police. So, um, you know, people had been, one woman was punched and knocked unconscious and had her nose broken and they wouldn't arrest, and uh, somebody wielded a line, live chainsaw into a crowd and decked somebody and they wouldn't arrest. The most extreme example was, once again, me, Daryl, and uh, another friend of ours, Pam, were um, driving to a well-publicized rally and our car was rear-ended, it was rammed, Karen Silkwood style, by a logging truck that we had just blockaded less than 24 hours earlier. And that was in 1989, that was one year before Redwood Summer. And those were some of the things that made us think that we needed to call for these kinds of very public and very nonviolent tactics in order to counter that kind of thing. But the more that, as we put out this call, the more effective that we got, the more notorious we got, the more it seemed like people were really going to come to Redwood Summer, the more the ante kind of got, got whipped up. And really there was a, a lynch mob atmosphere was whipped up in this area before Redwood Summer. And um, one of the things that they did was, um, you know, we began to get increasingly frightening death threats. The scariest one that I received, we got, well, some of them phone, but particularly written death threats. The scariest one that I received was a photograph of me from the newspaper with a rifle scope and crosshairs drawn over my face. And when I went to the Mendocino Sheriff and I asked them to help investigate the death threats, they said, and I quote, we don't have the manpower to investigate. If you turn up dead, then we'll investigate. So I went to the Board of Supervisors and I showed the death threats to them and complained about the Sheriff's lack of action. And one of the Board of Supervisors members said, you brought it on yourself, Judy. Chainsaws killing the trees Something, everything that lives in peace Our animal friends are on the run But there's nowhere to go when the job is done How can we stand by while this all takes place? We've got to stop this inhuman race the land when it's all gone for a nuclear plant Plus to be poison the water, earth and air Just to cook a piece of toast or blow dry
our mistakes The answer is whatever it takes Now the pen is mightier than the sword But a monkey ranch can do a whole lot more The revolution is just around the bend The Mother Earth be her foe all your Is the fence of Mother Earth.